Are we ready to finish what he started? Bail Organa Palpatine was far from pleased with the results of the battle on the Death Star. Not only was he robbed of an extremely powerful new apprentice and still burdened with the diminished Vader, but the prisoners had escaped and would go on to lead a rebellion that had inadvertently been created by the two Sith Lords themselves. However, thanks to Marek's actions, the Empire finally knew who their enemies were and Vader vowed to hunt down and crush them, as his master intended long ago. Sidious correctly foresaw that the rebels had to be quickly and decisively dealt with, or else they could very well pose a grave threat to his totalitarian rule. The duel also had another outcome in that it drove a further wedge between the Sith Lords. Vader realized that Sidious desired a new apprentice, and as a result he became determined to find a powerful Force-sensitive apprentice to help him overthrow his master in earnest. Marek's sacrifice inspired the rebels to finish what he began, a full-scale revolution against the Empire. Juno and Bale recovered Proxy from the snow on Corellia who then revealed that Marek told him that if anything happened to him, Proxy was to be in the charge of Juno. Immediately after recovering Proxy, they along with the other founders of the rebellion met on Kashyyyk. Princess Leia proposed that the rebels use the Marek family crest as a symbol of hope to rally behind, with which all agreed. The rebel alliance, as well as the New Republic, its successor states and even the New Jedi Order, would use his crest and variants of it over the next century. Juno asked Kota if he knew that the man who created the alliance was the same one who tried to kill him less than a year earlier. Kota revealed that he had always known, and still agreed to help. He explained that despite all of the dark thoughts that filled the Sith assassin's mind, Kota was able to glimpse at the one bright thing that Galen held on to until the very end, Juno.